What's up, y'all? You see where we at? We at the warehouse. We'll be back again with another video giving out crazy game. If y'all like the last videos, I know you're gonna love this one. So make sure we're over 200 likes on this video, guys. What we talking about today is I'm gonna show you guys that don't know how to lay your products out on the ground for pictures because a lot of people don't know how to do it and that's gonna make or break how much engagements you have on your posts on Instagram and that's what's gonna push your posts out to more people, how it looks. You ever looked on a page and you saw a photo and you was like, yo, that's dumb hard. And you double tap and you reshare. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to do that with a hoodie, some jeans, it's real simple. And I'm gonna show you guys how to promote it as well. First thing first, when it comes to putting your pictures on the ground, one thing I noticed that a lot of you guys don't do is y'all don't iron and y'all don't use a lint roller. That's probably because y'all don't do it with y'all regular clothes anyway. But when it comes to taking product shots, you wanna make sure there's no wrinkles in there that you don't want the customer to see. You want it to look like as clean as possible, okay? So I got my heat press right here and you can use an iron, you can use a steamer. I just use the heat press because it's faster and I'll literally like any wrinkles that I see, any wrinkles that I see, I'll just throw it on the heat press. And the cool thing about the heat press, it's not like an iron where I gotta keep on pressing and forcing the wrinkles out. It only takes like a couple seconds. It only takes a couple seconds. And once I got all the wrinkles out, any lint that I see, especially on black items, even white items, I just wanna hit it with the lint roller just to brush it off. You don't wanna dab it with water and stuff like that because you might smear the product and that might be your only sample. So you wanna use a lint roller. If you don't have a lint roller, a trick that you can use is you can use some tape and just tape it off and get all the dirt off as much as possible. Once that's all that's done, now we're gonna go to the ground. You wanna find you a good, clean area as well. You wanna make sure there's nothing in your area distracting your customer. So if there's any like dirt, paper, anything, you wanna make sure you sweep that off as well. All right guys, now that I got an on the ground spot, I made sure I cleaned everything off. I got my lint roller for any more dirt that might come on the hoodie, because as you can see, it's a black hoodie. So first thing first, you wanna go to other pages and see how they post their product. So I went to GV Gallery, I went to HalfEvil.com, I went to these other pages and I seen how they post their products. So one thing I've seen a lot of people are doing with hoodies, they're folding the sleeves under the hoodies. So the first thing I'm gonna do while I'm on the ground, I got the sleeve laid out right here. I see I got some dirt right here. I'm just take that dirt off as it comes on and I'm gonna tuck the hoodie. See that? I grabbed the sleeve and I folded it under like that. But I want the hoodie sleeve to go down the sides, right? So I'm folding the sleeves like that. I'm sliding it under like that. You follow me, guys? And make sure y'all just slow down and rewind if I'm moving too fast. And as you can see right here, I got some dirt on the hoodie. So I'm gonna just go ahead, lint roll that dirt off as I'm going in the process. You can do it later too. So now that I have that side, I'm gonna come to this side and do the same thing. And you wanna make sure, like you see how there's like a pucker right here on the graphic? You wanna make sure there's no pucker. I want my customers to see the whole entire graphic, everything that's going on. So now I'm gonna fix the shoulder, lay it out, there's no pucker. I'm gonna do the same thing, guys. I want the sleeves to go down. I'm gonna Fold it like that. Make sure the sleeves are going down the sides. Take out the pucker. Okay, like that. And now, when it comes to the hood, a lot of people are like, Dre, what do you do with the hood? If you have drawstrings, you wanna make sure your drawstrings go down like that. Not covering up the design too much, but you want the customer to know that you do have drawstrings. If you don't have drawstrings, you don't have to worry about that. And I like to fold the hood like that. Put the inside tag down. I like to fold the hood like that. Some people do it like that. Some people do it like that. It's whatever you're going for. If it's an oversized hood, I'll definitely do it like this. And as you can see, I got some more dirt on my hood. And I wanna make sure I get all that dirt out. Yes, I can take it off in post-production and stuff like that. But everything that I take out in pre-production, the better. 
And now I'll say I have a good layout. You can see the graphic. Everything is clean. Any dirt that I see, I make sure I take out. And if there's anything left over, I'll take it out in post-production. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to frame and take this picture of this product. Okay, so now that I have my hoodie on the ground, I wanna frame it. And if your iPhone is not in grid mode, I'll say go ahead and put it in grid mode as well. You can do that in your settings in your phone. So the first thing I'm seeing right now, my sleeves are not even, and I'll fix that. But right now, I just wanna show you guys how to take the picture. So I'm in photo mode right now. One thing I'm gonna go ahead and do that I like to do, I like to go ahead and put it in square. Somebody might be like, Dre, why are you putting it in square mode? Is it because I'm posting it on Instagram and Instagram use square format. So now I wanna put it in square. And with my grids, I can see, I can see everything. Like I can see like there's not too much negative space on the sides. I can see my graphic is perfectly centered in the grid. So this is a great photo right here. So I'll just go ahead and take it. And also, it's a black hoodie, so I wanted to make a look, make the hoodie look a little darker, and I want the design to pop a little bit. So I'll just go ahead on here and lower the exposure on the sun, and as you can see, it's popping off the ground a little bit. The black on the hoodie is black, the design is popping, and I'll just go ahead and take it. Sometimes people do like a little offset as well, so I'll do an offset shot where I'll just turn it, come down, and then, when I wanna do like my more detailed shots, I'll just zoom in on the hoodie like this, go over the pockets right here, show people like the pockets, stuff like that, designs I want them to see, and just keep it all copacetic, you know what I'm saying? I want people to see like it's a black hoodie, I want people to see the design, I want the sleeves not to be too cut off, but sometimes it being cut off might be a creative aspect, like if I wanna just zoom in like that, and I want people just to see the hoodie. They know the hoodie has sleeves. I'm just cutting it off just to show the graphic a little bit more. But for this, I want everybody to see everything and I want it to pop. I'm gonna keep the graphic in the center like that and clean, boom. Now, somebody might wanna go ahead and put this on a white background. I like the new iPhone updates. I can just hold the hoodie like this Yep, I just hold the hoodie like that, just tap the hoodie. It's not doing it, so I'll show you guys how to do it on Photoshop, okay? Sometimes the iPhone thing don't work properly, as mm -hmm. you can see right there, I'm doing this right now, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on Photoshop as well. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with some pants. So I got some black pants on the ground here. Don't beat me up, black items just sell better, guys. That's all I know, so boom. These are some cargo pants, very straightforward. We got some pockets on here, some great detailing. And I wanna show off all those detailing to all the customers. Typically with a product like this, yes, I'll do an on the ground shot, but I will also just wear it as well because it'll be easier for me to show off all the detailing and stuff like that. But I'm gonna just go ahead and do the on the ground shot because I'm showing you guys how to do the on the ground shots because you'll need one anyway for your website photos, okay? So I got these pants right here. They're, uh, they're like a carpenter pants, so like they're like a canvas material, so they don't really move too much, because if they were jeans, like I'll do something like that. But since they're carpenter pants, I'ma just stretch the legs like that. Since they have a zipper, I'ma zip up on the zipper just a little bit, so people, that can catch somebody's eye as well. I'm just looking for all the details that I can show somebody about these pants. And I wanna make sure the waistband is good. They have drawstrings, so I'm gonna leave the drawstrings out as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my handy dandy lint roller and make sure I get all the dirt, any dirt that I see. So that might be my similar downfall with shooting on the ground in the warehouse like this. There's a lot of dirt, but if you're shooting it anywhere, just get you a lint roller, bro. Boom, boom, all right. So I got the pants on the ground and the first thing that I see with the pants guys is the legs are too far apart. I don't like how they're doing a wide angle like that. So like now let me look at it in square mode. So in square mode it's decent, but it's not perfect, okay? So I'm gonna just go ahead and move the legs together.
I move both sides, that's a little bit better. I don't want to move too much together, guys, because I don't want to do some puckering in the middle right there. And these are XL, so that's interesting to note. So what size you shoot for your samples is important because the more material it is, the more puckering it might be when you try to move the product around. So me personally, I'll stick with like a medium or a large. Those are great things to take pictures of because it's not too much material. But we don't make excuses, we just execute. So I'm gonna show you guys how to still do it with these size XL pants. So they're black, I got them on the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit darker for it to pop. I'll make sure everything is in focus like that. I'm gonna take a picture, boom. I'm gonna go in, do the same thing on the zipper. Make sure the black pop, do something like that. I wanna show that you're looking at pants. So I'm gonna do a quick angle to where the bottoms are showing right there and the zipper is right there. Boom, I might even go up a little bit more, show the pocket like that. And you wanna make sure everything is in focus. Boom, take another picture. Close up picture of the pockets like that. Same thing, boom. I wanna show off all the details on these pants, guys. And I'm gonna also show you guys how to go ahead and take it off of here and put the pants on a white background by using Photoshop. All right, guys, so I have Photoshop pulled up right now. And one thing I want you guys to get in the habit of when you're on your computer or your PC or your MacBook or whatever the case may even your iPad, just make sure just make sure that your brightness is turned all the way up. You want to make sure your brightness is turned all the way up so you can actually see what's going on. Because you got to assume that somebody is looking at your product, their brightness is all the way up. So right here, as you can see, I got the hoodie in here. Um, and it's just on the concrete background. I could post directly to Instagram like this if I wanted to. But I want to put it on a white background, especially if I want to... Put on a white background or turn this hoodie into a png for my website purposes um yes there's other apps out there that you can use just to remove the background right away or you could do it on 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 the iphone but as you can see uh, i was having troubles doing it with the iphone earlier i'm gonna show you guys how to do it on photoshop if you don't have photoshop i'll say definitely make the investment in downloading photoshop and just learning how to do photoshop because this is a life-changing tool not just for doing like graphic designs or just like doing simple things like removing the background and stuff like that even for me guys like i used to use photoshop to change my grades back when i was in school now grades is all online and stuff like that but back in the day i used to change my grades on photoshop that's how i even learned how to design on photoshop and learn different tricks and tips like that so you never know what these skills may help you with you want to stack skills you never know what you're going to be doing one day so i got this up here right now one thing I don't like that I see already, I have the tag showing right here. I'm gonna show you guys a tool that you can use to get rid of the tag real easy. Uh, if you see something like that, I'm going to use the spot healing tool. See, see that? It's just blending into the hoodie. And then like for like the finer details, I'm gonna just zoom in. And I'm using my mouse to zoom in. So now, when I zoom out, it's just clear. It's not that white piece of paper there anymore. It's just clear. And now is the content aware tool over here. But what I'm really showing you guys is how to clean away this background real quick. Okay? So, over here, I'm going to select this selection tool. It's literally like this tool right here. It's like a paintbrush and a little dotted lines around it. The selection tool. And once I hit the selections tool, as you can see, up here you'll see something that says select a mask and select subject. Both those work really great, but I like to use select a mask. It's real simple. So when select a mask pop up, over here it'll be in a new screen, and you'll see where it's like a color overlay. And the color that I choose is red. You can change the color to whatever you want it to be. Um, I'm going to use red. It could have been black, but see if it was black, it'll blend into the hoodie. But I use red because I want to see what I'm selecting. And then on the output options, I have it to output to new layer. So my selection will be outputted to a new layer. Or I could have it to where it be on the same layer. But I just want to output to a new layer. So with your selection tool enabled, 
you'll just start to select your hoodie and your hoodie only okay so you don't want to select the background I'm just selecting the hoodie I'm just selecting the hoodie everything in red I'm gonna just select it like the hoodie part so as you can see I just selected the hoodie and what's left is all this red area right here right I still got a little bit of shadow right here I'm gonna show you guys how to clean that up as well but once I hit OK, now, now my uh, hoodie is as a PNG, right? I just exported it to a PNG just by using the Select and Mask tool. And if I want to go ahead and see what this will look like on a white background, make a new layer, white. So if I just throw this hoodie up and put it on a white background, that's how it will look. I want to center the hoodie itself. So I'm going to center it a little bit more, move it over, center it a little bit more. And that's just it right there. Also, as you can see, I still have a little bit of the ground right here. One thing I could have did, I could have do a feather. I could have did a feather so where like I didn't have that. But I just wanted to show you guys for this video how to clear that out as well. I'm going to go back to... I can use my selection tool, but I'm going to go back to my polygon tool up here. So it's right above the selection tool. And I'm just going to make a line for that whole area right there. And normally this doesn't happen. But for the times it do happen, I want to show you guys what other ways you could do to clean it up. And like I said, you can use apps to just take away these backgrounds. They're way easier. There's apps for it. You just have to Google them. But I just want you guys to know the tips and tricks how to do this yourself, you know, without the apps. Let's say if the apps just stop working one day. I'm just using my eraser tool and erase that. Now, it's all cleared up. That's how it is on a white background. I'll just save that as a JPEG. I'll post that on my Instagram story or I'll just post that for my website. I'll just leave it as a PNG by taking the background off and just saving it as a PNG and put it on my website. And the reason why you want to save it as a PNG, now when it's on your website, let's say your website has a red background, you won't have your hoodie on top of white on top of red. It'll just be your hoodie on top of the red background. But best practice, you want to make sure your website is a white background so everything that's on your site will just pop, even the words, even the designs, whatever the case may be. So. I just make it a PNG so if I'm ever switching the backgrounds, I don't have to go back and take off the white background. It just makes it easier for me. All right, there you go, guys. Um, another great video. If you have any questions or anything else you want me to go over, um, I try to be as detailed as possible without making these videos too long. So if there's like a more in-depth you want me to go, I can. Just let me know in the comments. But I really just don't like to make these videos too long for you guys because I want to get straight to the game, straight to the gems, so you can go out and execute. But those are some tips on how you should be able to position your hoodies and your pants and take pictures of them and using the square format to make sure it fits directly on Instagram and I showed you even how to remove the background yourself on Photoshop and like I said you don't have to use Photoshop there's more than one way to do one thing guys so you don't have to use Photoshop you can use apps you can use a Fiverr guy but I just like showing you guys different ways how to do the same thing so you guys can do it yourself you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make you guys self-efficient. So if you like this video, just do me a favor and hit a like. And if you want to see more or something else, just put it in the comment section below and I'll get to it.